<laughs> That's what happens. Yeah, wow. it happens a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Um, We're not all that different. No. Yeah. And I think around the, the themes of rejection, I mean, like fear of abandonment, kind of this imposter syndrome, like massive anxiety coming here. Really? really? Oh, yeah. Like yeah. right now, I'm just. Which is, yeah, I get it. I had the same when I first went to a place like this. Yeah, I'm just recalling it and I was, ooh, yeah. I was really nervous. Yeah, yeah, just the feeling like, yeah, I guess the unworthiness, like I don't have enough to offer one of these kind of. Oh, it's never true. It's always great when new people come because they always offer a new new angle, new perspective. It's yeah. really, honestly. Yeah. Isn't it? We often talk about it. So when someone new comes, they just bring in a whole new freshness and a whole new angle or a whole new thing or even something that people have worked on then you forget because you go into all the other layers and then go, oh, yeah, what about this is a real important foundational thing. You know, that we can sometimes forget. Yeah. That's I fine. Think, um, for me, like September's just been this like month. Now it's October, but September it was just like everything kind of just like, yeah, changes this like point. Mm. And now, yeah, it's just this bizarre, like the synchronicity of like, oh, yeah, this whole time. Starting like, to see your mum in you, are you? <laughs> yeah, and then it's been a. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Basically, yeah, reached twenty five, and it's like, wow, yeah, it's a pretty. Yeah, you start to see the patterns of your parents come through, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. Like I said, when the exuberance of the outward expression of the world then starts to settle, you start to see the lumps and bumps start yeah. to appear a bit more. Absolutely. And it kind yeah. of took a few kind of major like illness things to happen for me to kind of mm. like settle me down and make me look inwards. Yes. Because yes. even I was just saying to my friends recently how I recently just finished like a degree in counselling and the whole time. Oh, wonderful. That degree, you know, I was just like, I need to like help all these people around me. I need mm. to like, you know, with my partner at the time, it was mm. about helping him, saving him. Mm, yeah. The, 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 yeah. And I forgot myself. Yes. Yes. It became about helping his parents. Yes. Making sure they're okay and so this is the saviour character. Oh, yeah, massive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this, we call it the Matodo, the committee, there's six main voices, main voices that everyone carries in their head. That's why we're so similar and we're all like a e graphic equaliser. Mm -hmm. So you've got six dials in the graphic equaliser and we're all different tunings of, of the same graphic equaliser. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're high on saviour. You, yeah. you're the base on the saviour is right up high. And, <laughs> Savior, but to the point of I'm a burden, so I'm like the sacrificial lamb. Yeah. I'm like I'm gonna like save yourself from me. I'll help you. <laughs> 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 yeah, savior is a good one to. Yeah. yeah. So you can only help people that really want to be helped, mm. which is I I also discovered the hard way because when I first started experiencing different consciousness levels, I. I was like, yep, I'm going to save everybody I can. I've mm -hmm. got some tools now. I've got, I know what's going on. I can see what's going on for people. And, yep, let me get out there. And, uh, yeah, you, you learn the hard way <laughs> that it doesn't work that way, right? And um, it's good that you did a counselling degree. And maybe this makes sense a little bit then. It wouldn't be too intimidating on that level, huh? Well, it was like I think in the yeah verbally like everything you're saying. I'm like, oh, I get that. Yeah, I know that. I like mm. that. Mm. Theory, theory, theory. Mm. But then it's funny the physical. No, I don't have any. I don't. I don't have any counselling experience. I just know myself. Yeah. And when I know myself, I know you, mm. because our inners are all the same. Mm. And I've been through all the suffering treadmills and roller coasters, and mm. I've had just about. I think I've yeah, tremendous amount of difficulties mm. self-created. And patterns that I was given, so I, I worked out how to get through them and heal them, and that's where I speak from. I don't speak mm. from theory. Yeah. That's um, what I find interesting. It's like I've always been an external seeker, like more information. More information. Yeah, yeah, good, good, so good. Like all materialistic, you know, clothing and stuff. Yeah, it's good that you can see that. Yeah, yeah. I want all the information. Yes, it's good to get information, 
and then it is, and, and it's really good to see that at some point you've already got enough information. Yeah, and then it's sort of just masking because I've like, oh, got this information, mm. now I'll give this information. Yeah. But never actually look at any of my Yes. Well, it's extremely common that um, psych in psychology, like a lot of psychologists are just wounded, damaged bunnies and, and counsellors because they've gone into it to heal, mm -hmm. that instead of actually going in and healing, mm -hmm. they just become information vessels, mm -hmm. but they actually absorb it and actually go and do the work. Mm -hmm. And here it's a little bit different. It's just we go about the work and the information is secondary. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Just enough information to work out what you need to do and where you need to go, and that's it. Mm. And we don't we don't get too high on that. We could do, but I've I've seen it in action where people get in rooms where it's highly, highly evolved information and very technical and deep, and it just mm. and exactly what you said. It becomes an informational thing, which is of the head, mm. and we're trying to get back here, right? <laughs> <laughs> That realization I had when, yeah, I'll like, you know, read all these books, we love it, but mm. then it's like, I'll recommend the book to everyone. Yeah, yeah. And I know, you know, theory of yoga and meditation and like all these things, but don't actually practice. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you, you're a knower, not a seer. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> you see? Mm. Seeing's different, seeing's absorption. And, um, and that happens in silence. And you know the way I look at it, like let's just forget about counselling, but some of the greatest minds like your Einsteins, your Newtons, your Teslas, and all these super famous, super famous minds, when you look into them a bit closer, they all had, like Einstein used to walk around the university in a beta state, his brain, like uh, I think it's beta, where it's much slower, almost like just before sleep, a very calm state, and, and epiphanies would come to him. And then he'd go down and write it down and, and incorporate it into his knowledge base of his structure of education. And and, uh, and then he had the huge IQ to be able to process the information and turn it into something others could understand. You see, so and you see this over and over and over. So even the great minds, informationally, the ones that are really well known, all, all seem to have had this thing where they would have quiet times and they'd wake up in dreams and wake up in the middle of the night and start writing things down. Great songwriters, isn't it? You see it over and over and over. It's a common thread. So when we're just clogged up with information, we actually block a, a much bigger mind. So you're, you're dealing with a localised mind and, 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 and peppering that and enhancing that, but it actually becomes a, a wall that blocks you out from a much bigger mind. You understand? And, and that's the one that's really got the juice. You see? And it takes a little while for that to open up. But, you, but you, you've already got to the first point where you're seeing that the, the amount of information isn't the answer. Please like or subscribe if you found value. Meet Rohan via rohan.life